Some of you might remember my chaotic succession campaign from last year. What chaotic succession campaign is about is that we are changing our country every 30 years. And it's a chaotic succession because we, we keep changing the countries around based on your comments. Today I'm gonna start a new one with a first country being France. Last year I did start as the Ottomans making them a juggernaut because I only united the lands and played tall. I'll do the same today in France. I'll only unite their lands, I'll develop the heart of the country, I'll not go for like things like emperorship, going after Byzantium, something that would do normally, or getting the Bargainic succession. No, we're not doing any of this. But still, I think these guys might be a really good guide for you if you want to start slowly, but very strong as France. I'll go step by step and show all of that. So without further ado, Let's get straight to this. You know what you'll enjoy as well? Subscribe to this channel because uh, we are on our way to a Giga U4 challenge for going 3 months as Ryukyu so conquer the whole world, but I plan to do it with a different strategy than all the YouTubers do, so not going hard. But to do that we have to get to 120k subscribers first, so you better hit that subscription button and let's get started. This is gonna be lovely, I play a lot of wide campaigns, it's good to play something tall for a little. Start with taking these troops to Bordeaux and we're doing not even a free company but we'll need a grand company. But before I move there, let's pick our rivals, which is gonna be Burgundy, Castile and England, the three nations that rivaled us. And as for the estates, it's not an easy choice because we have missions that require our subjects to be super loyal, you see they have plus 35% from the fact that they are appanages. And each power point I take from the estates is gonna decrease that. But you know what? For now I'm gonna take only power points. Admin points, mill points, and diplo points. So maybe besides that also manpower because it has a giant amount of it. But at the same time I'm gonna keep their influence fairly low to get a lot of crownland when conquering lands. Do this. Then also take the mission for Pope, because we should be able to ally them immediately. Look, see, now these guys are getting this loyal. What I'll be doing uh, is also taking one person loans from these boys. This is gonna be of big use. And these one person loans are gonna be invested into Grand Company, pretty much on the force limit. I'll be able to delete some of my calf to clear it and I'm gonna start recruiting advisors. France is having good advisors because a lot of them are discounted. Like for example this guy for inflation, you see he's 50% cheaper, this guy for improved relations, 50% cheaper, and for the military I don't have anything like that. Let's maybe take actually force limit, so uh, building merit is not gonna get us above that. As for our missions, these missions on the top are about reconquering and or conquering lands and deving it, while here at the bottom I have some missions about appanages. So for example, Liberty Zide below 10. That's not gonna be easy, but I'll start handling that by sending a royal marriage to each of them that made Orlan loyal. And obviously in the meantime I'm trying to improve the relations, while I'll be also improving my relations with fans. I don't need to guarantee Scotland anymore, it's just... Uh, cancel it so we're not gonna be over our relations limit. One of the funny missions is about our general that has siege and see the survivable barriers. It requires our general to win the four battles. Actually I'm gonna get him on the ground company which is gonna try tanking the battles. As for appanages I'll make them all siege focused. On 12th of December I'm gonna attack England before the event fires because I have their conquest castles belly for Obviously main, you all guys start focusing on getting into them. And you see, I don't even have to waste much of my own manpower because my subject will do most of the work. What I'd rather focus on is to sending, oh, it should be infantry, but 1k to make sure that if they go out of the siege, I still keep the siege progress and the mercs, they have free siege so I can focus on can or how it is pronounced. Since I'm not losing that much money, only six ducats a month, I'm gonna get my other advisor on level three already. We can afford that. And how about we switch our focus to military? Shall we or not shall we? Yeah, we don't have a cheaper advisor for it. And I want to develop a lot of mill points. Honestly, I don't need all of my force. I should have deleted some of them already. Quapoitier. And I can turn off the fort in Schochte. 
but the glitch turn it off just to maximize the money. While for in Khan, I'm gonna give it to occupation of Orlean, so they're gonna pay for it. Stability doesn't cost us much, so just go and boost it up to one so the prosperity starts increasing. This is an interesting mission because Siege Number is Gascon and is giving me two choices. When I click it right now, during the war, this province will be cheaper to demand in the PC, or when demanded after the war ends, I'm gonna get for 15 years manpower recovery speed and reduce devastation in these provinces. That's an interesting choice, but since I don't plan to fight much, I'll go and take it now to make it cheaper to take in the war. So, this is 14%. We'll see, this is be taken uh, later. I'm still thinking if I should even take Calais. I'll probably take for higher trade power in the English Channel. English finally landed. And this is good because at least I'll be able to get my mission to win battles with uh, the biggest general. Actually, I just want my subjects to tank this battle, but yeah, let's just reinforce it and uh, go farther. Because they have to run away, not, not too far away. Just in the meantime, as in the other cases, I'm feeding the fort into our subjects to save money. Save it all the time. Oh, there it goes. Ah, so I don't need to have liberty design below 10. I just need 125 opinion of each of my subjects. I've been improving relations with all of them. I told you I did not do any test run. So now uh, I can get additional diplomatic relations and every opponent's subject will gain one round of development. Well, that's not helpful because it's gonna make it harder to annex them. It's gonna make them more disloyal. But this is fine. We will be now waiting for this. So improving our capital at least eight times and getting liberty desire for the subject below 5% while having high legitimacy. We will get there. And after winning uh, 4 battles with this general, actually 6 already, I'm getting Assault Fort ability, RT levels, Contribution versus Siege and 3000 of artillery, which is uh, pretty useful. This will require me to have CAF, which I don't plan. Thanks to the mission that reduces the worst cost of provinces, I can piece them out already for all of the provinces that I have course on and Calais. Calais is gonna be useful for trade power. Take this. A bit of money. Thank you so much for the useful war. I'm slowly fixing our borders. Let's uh, state whatever we just took because it costs us nothing except Calais. And the mission obviously in Liberate Normandy is about conquering them. That is uh, giving us even more crown land. Let's first see. The conquest gives us up to 11%. And this is gonna give us another 5%, 50 mil points, and some stuff about Normandy. Now I got uh, claims on Burgundy and Brittany, and since this war was no AE, I might uh, go ahead and attack uh, Brittany soon, <laughs> which will get us into war with Burgundy. Obviously we want to keep autonomy low, so on this point I'm also reducing it. Now we can take a bit more pr privileges, I'm taking prestige uh, for um, my bourgeoisie, for nobility, I'll take Supermaster the Crown to make the others uh, more loyal. For clergy, we will go ahead and take the diplomatic reputation and higher relations, as well as... Oh no, I did not want to take it, guys. <laughs> that was a misclick. I wanted to take this, just to increase their equilibrium. So you see, I'm slowly getting all of these boys more and more loyal. The end of the Hundred Years' War gives us stability and some admin mana. And yeah, let's just not waste time. I want to play a bit quicker in early game. And then spend the last couple of years building up the max out of this country to leave a juggernaut for Europe. So Mr. Brittany, let's declare. I think we can call both Provence and Papal State. And it's gonna be conquest of Bro Noanet. Bruh. Let's just go and try with... Wiping their troops immediately. It's just 8,000. Should be easy peasy. <sighs> yeah, okay. And <laughs> honestly, guys, I'm gonna only send my cannons to switch it down. Switch it down faster. Uh, not with this guy. This guy is gonna be fighting with Burgundy. And the rest are gonna carpet siege and prepare to fight with Burgundy. The birth of the permanent taxation system gives me government reform progress, base tax in Paris, innovativeness, base tax in Cotentin, and some local unrest. One of the requirements of the Provence mission is not only have good relations with them, which I already have, but also have 90 trust. To get the trust, we need favors, so I'm gonna start carrying them. Not gonna lie, but this 3000 cannons with the you know, siege ability general free siege. 
This is making the wars so lovely as France. Uh, we are soon to peace out Burgundy. I want to take full money, wear reparations, but most importantly, humiliate rival. So we activate our golden era ASAP. I'm really interested in that battle with... Uh... Yes, this is a wipe. Is it that? <sighs> no! God, please, no! No! Hmm. Our world died pretty early. And we've lost to stability because I think he was included in the battle. So that's unfortunate, but our mana generation is still right. Yeah, this is unfortunate, but it's uh, it's a nice cost. We bring any out, I have uh, some nice money, and let's just go ahead and full in next Brittany, which cost us pretty much no AE. Nobody cares. The borders are getting even better. Um, I don't. I keep this for just to reduce the devastation this promises, but then I'm gonna delete it. Same with the fort here in the north. Already getting some trust from Provence, slightly increasing that. One of my missions require me to develop capital, and that's the important one here. Let's just go ahead and develop it a bit more. Paris, cash development. Uh, questions, can I get this guy over 60? I don't think so. It has already one improvement, so it needs seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That allows me to connect the provinces, which is another mission that every province with at least 25 development. That's pretty much gonna be only parry. I could leave it for later, and I think I'm gonna leave it for later. It's gonna give construction cost, time, death cost modifier. So I don't need you for now. But here I need... Uh, a one more dev click in capital, which I'm gonna get with some more PowerPoint. By the way, the two great projects in Paris are getting us Notre Dame. Cathedral is giving us Florence the True Faith and Monthly Papal Influence. Why Versailles, if I improve it, it's tax meta. Hmm. Obviously, this gave me a second bonus in Age of Discovery. Third one to improve trade centers. I need to improve two more of them. So, how about go ahead, take two loans, and improve Cotentin and Calais since I'm betting on the English channel. Then improve the golden era, very early one and very useful. So you know, income is slowly scaling, we're already at 30. And we've stated provinces from uh, Brittany and decrease autonomy. We are already at 60,000 maximum power, 56 and 49 of first limit while the income is 33. That really helps make all of these guys loyal. Once I get all of this below 5%, I can def or learn a little bit to also get them below 5%. I will remove the Grand Company soon, but first I want to keep them for uh, the loyalty and to deal with the first rebels. And in the meantime, building up more of armies simply to scare their subjects off. And this kind of unit I love because it's six sacks meta for just 100 ducats. Melee succession could go for restoration of human castles building Milan, but we don't need that. I'm proud to say that my second tier guarantee form is gonna be the Dax meta, because France is absolutely worth for the Dax meta. Look at the proportions here. Okay, now I need to do this to have 90 legitimacy. Then I need to go to Orléans. Tick. That's 9%. Tick. That's 4%. Which should unlock the mission Crown Seat of Paris. Diplomatic annexation cost. All state influence modifier and 20 from progress for every monthly admin mana. So if I'm getting 11, I'm getting over 200 of reform progress. Thank you so much. Now in the nobility, I'm gonna pick up the diplomatic annexation costs as well. These guys are all loyal anyway. I could even start diverting trade from them. Let's see actually what kind of income change is gonna be. It's 35.16. Maybe not or now. 35.16. Thirty-seven point two. So the next account for which I got thanks to this immediately is Age of Discovery local tax modifier for the state edict. We're gonna a full tax method. Fourteen point two from tax, and after I update all this, it's twenty ducats of tax. So we have forty-three of total income already, and that's time, guys, to start annexing our subjects. I'll start with the biggest ones, so Orlean. Uh, this is gonna take not that much of time and uh, also Armagna. So now 17 of balance in 1454. What do you need more from this runs? Well, we definitely need more trade income. And that's why I'm gonna start building more barracks to send them all to English Channel. First bonus in the Holy See, obviously diplomatic annexation cost. So these are reduced significantly. To be exact, I have minus 30% stacked. First one done. Oh, that's making nobility not happy, but <laughs> it's fine. Armagnac is already annexed. 
The next one in the queue is uh, Burbune, which has got to improve relations. We can really recruit Fragship, which is gonna be a heavy ship with cannons, ship trade power and morale. Also have enough uh, stuff to do this and then this. Start annexing uh, Bourbon. That's actually funny. Once you annex an Apenash, you need to seize land at least once to annex another one. That's a new thing that wasn't here before. So I had to seize land now from the estate to be able to start annexing these boys. And I should have enough money to repay, I believe, almost all of the loans. And that should be the last time I'm doing this. So with 90 trust, you can click this mission, the Provencer question. So it's gonna give us the event House of the Valois, which gives us a free personal union on the Provence. And what's even more important, they annexed, I think, Loren for free. They inherited their throne. So now I have a personal union with 105 development. So now, this should be easier. All these points should be improved three times. I can go for this one since it's mine. Improves once already, so just to addition the flicks. Tick, tick. And the mission gives me Loire Valley Chateau. Uh, it's at the gardens of France, which is even nobility equilibrium and one permanent power in the lower valley area. Or Hadrimana and Dacets. Another Apanas uh, annexed all land this time, and I think that's, yeah, that makes us being over the gaff capacity. So just go and take some from the bourgeoisie. Oh, that gives us the fate of Jean d'Arc. What's the requirement? Yeah, a lot of requirements. I, I think that was pretty much improving relations with Pope, which is giving an event uh, for prestige and legitimacy. And that's it. Should give me anything else. You know, I annexed another one and to annex uh, the next Apanash. It is gonna take time because I have to see land to do that. It's in four years from now. First one us in this age is AE, just for the Burgundian War. In the Papal Lands of Avignon, it has two outcomes. Either when I go aggressively and conquer some lands uh, from them, from them. It's about uh, conquering Avignon. And scorn for insulting. So if I insulted Pope, I could get Siege Ability, Claims in Italy, and subjugation to beyond Naples. I obtain new missions, but I don't want to go into Italy. Or if I ally them, which I did, I'm gonna get my part of the true faith points at 20% and perma claims on Palestine. We gain 25 random monarch points and 10 papa influence every time a new papa bull is enacted. That is lovely. Let's go ahead for that. And see this uh, changing the missions a bit. Now this is asking us to be your defender of faith. Why this is about, of course, conquering the lands there. So, Defender of Faith, easy PC. just uh, needs to take the one person loss and become the Defender of Faith. So this is gonna give us monthly admin power until the death of the ruler. Kuria power cost minus 33% and gain the Holy War castles battle against every Muslim, great power, even if we do not border them. So I get right now on Ottomans and the Mamluks. To get the Provence mission in here, I need to improve relations with them and get the trust first, because it's extra bonuses that we're getting. Burgess Loyal can go and death a bit more, and it's gonna be deathing Brittany, because I need to get rid of the devastation for the mission here, and I need to death armor. It has zero death clicks, while we need four. One, two, three, four. That's in exchange the Cat Follicon event, which gives us an advisor. For Papal influence and institutions spread. Oh, institutions spread is gonna be useful now. And the crown of France, which requires me to have 50 provinces in uh, the French region, is 10 perma power protection and 25 prestige. That is, I can sell titles and seize land again. Could be keep it above 10 while having a lot of money. And uh, with another seize land, I'll be able to start annexing uh, probably Foix soon. Since I'm anyway hitting the other points cap and. Uh, I will need free stability for the Provence mission. Let's just boost it already. None of the Burgundy allies want to join the war against them. Uh, let's just go for the conquest of uh, Nivernais. Thanks to the mission that I took, uh, this cost me only 33 papal influence. Let it increase the cost of this now. So I could go for you know, profilations, more of armies, more tax metal, and even cheaper buildings. Thanks to 
100 trust and 190 relations with Provence. We're gonna get additional diplomat and additional diplomatic reputation. Just making sure we've got this. Check. So with this amount of money, how much is this just gonna cost us? Much less. It's time to run level four advisors in this too. And here, uh, level two advisor. So we have 13, 11, 11 mana generation while economy, it can handle. So there goes the institution. Take uh, these two technologies immediately. And I will call for infrastructure with 10 more years of gameplay to leverage it. Anyway, Mr. Burgundy, take all these promises. People don't care. Also, I will need your word operations and money. Mm, you won't accept more? It doesn't matter. Is it giving me the mission? Yeah, it is giving me the mission. But Burgundian succession. We need to get uh, a development. We'll distribute the Burgundian provinces. And monthly admin power. So we have monthly 14 of admin power already. Oh, the next mission? I think. Uh, yeah, the Embrace the Renaissance. Cheaper advisor, 75% monthly spender and innovativeness gain. And this guy is right now a patron of art. Uh, tech cost, idea cost. Again, over gap capacity. Let's go take some. Hmm. I should probably death first. And this guy's not fun. How was this? 11%. So if I move my main node here, that should be a bit higher. Oh, I have morale for French. That's 34%. It's now income 61. And it gives us a cheaper advisor. There's a trader, so we're aiming for radical reforms from this too. And. Uh, once these guys get to 60, I will develop and then I'm gonna seize land. Tier 4 guarantee form is even cheaper, courier powers cost. So this costs me right now only 28 per age. <sighs> Let's go for inflation terms, but I don't I really need it. How about we start stacking mercantiles for France? 28 per what each? Let's do it. Okay, bourgeoisie. Let's uh, go ahead and have some fun with the wing. Oh, these guys don't have... That's, any province has prosperity. Capital state. Let's take. Oh, for fuck's sake. I also go admin focus. 17 a month now. So here. Def, 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 def. Def, 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 def. And now 15 here. I can go and. Yeah, and use our gaff capacity. Stacking up barracks to. Yeah, we gotta finish this with 100 and. 20k manpower. We're close to get this. We need 12 princes to have the temple. I have a mission to get it in Calais, but obviously we'll be getting more of this. 100k manpower ready. 1467. Well, not bad, but we can do better. Rising tide lifts all boats. Good spread modifier, global prosperity growth, and uh, some tax. But how's our prosperity? Because we've got so many modifiers to prosperity growth. Yeah, it's coming. That's the last appanage that we just annexed. Yeah, making the name place and borders even better. Too bad we cannot uh, seize Anjou from Provence. Now we need to have three of these provinces, if I understand the requirements correctly. Five dev clicks, two buildings. This has five, four dev clicks already, and one building. We'll start getting a second one soon. Fishing temples is gonna give me splendor. Prestige is gonna be converted into mana. And in Avignon, Part of the pop is changed by one. Now it gives promise going calls, max privileges, splendor. Hmm. Too bad we don't have that. Uh, that's fine. I just click it for the matter of clicking. Obviously, I'll get first great power already. With 20 of estates land again, I can sell the titles and heavily invested money. Two more of this. Oh, I can't take this yet. Some more of this. We've got a scale. 13 infrastructure idea. Expanded infrastructure is not something I'm gonna use here, but the tax meta. So we already have 37 ducats from tax. The eight universities is giving me La Sorbonne, which is at the end of the game. Paris is getting advisor cost, possible advisors, and we get one innovativeness for each monarch power for every for things that fulfills the requirement of the mission. 
12 for one. Okay, 15 and also some power points. Oh, that's new. French infrastructure network. Friendly movement speed 20%. So what's this mission about? We need six provinces to have a marketplace. And a center of trade of level two. That's easy. I just need to invest into this free trade centers, right? We need three more. Or we need a marketplace in these provinces. Yes, marketplace. Marketplace is here. Marketplace. Marketplace. Before we end, I would also like to clean the grenadiers. Just need to invest some money into cavalry and then destroy them. 16,000. Sure, I'll build them. So, we've recruited calf. I'm gonna get access to the Gen gendarmes, government reform, which will empower the cavalry and morale damage. And also I'm getting flat 10% army professionalism. Now, is it easy to be done? French strong Dutch is cancelled. And no subject of the Capitan French region. Hmm. So I trolled myself a bit by getting a PU over Provence. Oh yeah, Crownland 50% is not doable right now. That's for later. French absolute monarch. And Gendarmes is tier 5 guarantee for calf compatibility, moral damage, blah blah. Why mus musketeers is allowing us musketeers inventory. <sighs> I'd rather go for musketeers, but obviously uh, we're not get there today. That's for AI. Did I promise you 120k manpower? 120k manpower. We've got the requirement for the marketplaces. Now we have just changed a few statistics. Tick. Six. And six should be enough. In exchange for 10 years, we're getting trade efficiency, global prosperity, growth, and some bourgeoisie. I mean, prosperity, yeah, it's just these two states and this state missing. How about we develop this state a little bit, fix that? Tick, 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 tick. How fast it's increasing now? Let's see. 0%. 1.95%. Let's go. Okay, guys, this is it. 30 years mark. 132,000 maximum power. 82 of income. 79 of force limit and 72,000 of troops themselves. The biggest in the world. Not to mention both manpower. Let's see the maximum powers in the world. <laughs> it's not even close. Same for the development. We created a juggernaut here. Place map mode is even better. You see. And so. Uh, I just want to see how many death clicks I got. Guys, you can pause the video now and type in the uh, comments how many death clicks do you think I got? The answer is 95 with the average cost of 29 points per click. We're just getting started. And the guys, you know, let's just see, console wasn't used. Turn off Terra Incognita. And tell me what nation I should play next. I was honestly thinking about playing a bit, just a bit outside of Europe to let France have fun while we do something fun in the other part of the world, but it's gonna depend on you. So guys, let me tell in the comments what nation do you think is gonna be the best for the next 30 years. And obviously leave a like on this video so we reach more people so we make this year absolutely successful. Bye!